Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from League One. It's Bristol Rovers, and they take on Accrington Stanley. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, 3-5-2 is a great system if you can get control of the midfield because your wing-backs can then play higher up the pitch and the front two can combine as a pair. But they need to dominate that central area. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. Thank you, enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. And play halted, free kick given. And both hands on it, good goalkeeping. Good looking sequence. Might be dangerous, and blocked for now. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, he didn't trouble the goalkeeper, but it wasn't a straightforward chance, you've got to say. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. No way through. So the corner played into the box and still dangerous. Vigorous defending. Just the challenge that was required. Struck. Oh, at one 
point on its flight. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, he wasn't afraid to have a go, was he? And you can see why. That was so close to being a great goal. Seamus Connealy. Lee. Determined defending. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Body in the way. Well, as you can see from the stats, there's been little between the two teams. It's been really tight, really cagey. Let's just hope it opens up and one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Aaron Collins. Evans. They've given it away. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Ethan Hamilton. How can he take them on and beat them? So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, I actually think he's worked really hard in the first half and he's unlucky not to be on the score sheet. It was a really good effort that hit the woodwork, but he'll need to show similar energy in the second 45 minutes in what is a tight game. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful, but into the keeper's gloves. Collins. Interception to snuff out the danger. Lee Wally must take the lead here oh he's been denied and they remain locked together well that's a good save but really he should have scored from there that's a big chance well, we have 30 minutes to go nicely timed tackle And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Well, the advantage didn't really accrue to them, and so it's going to be a free kick. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. A short free kick this time. Opportunity! Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Mohamed Songar. A room to roam on the wing. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Aaron Collins. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. They could nudge in front. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil, there it is, they're in front. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. 
just inviting someone to attack it and the volley is struck so cleanly which shows just how good his technique is that's a top class finish What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Can he find the right pass? Well, it could be on for him here. Oh dear, oh dear. The goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, it's been tight, but they've lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the shot or cross have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? James Gibbons. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And fed forwards. This could be it! And the keeper there to deal with it. Time for a change then. And he's fired over the corner. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.